What's going on everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got a quick video for you. This one's by request of one of my patrons, HPL Gamers. He was having an issue and it ended up being solved with picture in picture. So I'm going to be going over picture in picture with you guys and explaining a little bit of how you can use it in different ways and it being an awesome tool and plugin. All right, so I've dragged in a 1080p clip right here. It's about four minutes long. I'm going to right click and duplicate it. And just so we can see the difference is what we're going to be doing. And let's go over to video effects and you can type in picture and then we're going to do picture in picture. We're going to do this one because this one's a different picture in picture. This is a new blue effects picture in picture. And this is the one that comes with Vegas and it comes with a few presets. I'm going to show you just a general like overlay like I'm doing right now. So you can do that by dragging in one of these presets onto the top clip. And all of a sudden that top clip is now shrunk down to the left corner. And you can change this, you can drag it around. You don't actually have to go into the project settings to change the location. A cool thing about this is you can just drag and rotate it however you want it right here. And if you mess up, just control Z and it brings it back. So let's say I can drag that, you know, right here to the corner. If we look on the right side where I'm at, that's where a picture in picture comes up. And so that's pretty good for tutorials and anything you want to explain but show at the same time. That's what this is for. It's pretty nice. If you click over here, you can change the scale, the angle, and the opacity. And so if we want to change the angle, instead of dragging it and clicking, we can actually do it by the pinpoint number, which is really helpful when you need to be precise. So let's bring that back to zero. And then we can change the scale. Right now it's 33.3% of the actual screen itself. We could change that to bigger, smaller, but we're gonna do 0.5. And then the location, it goes by, let me explain this. Down here at the bottom left is zero comma zero coordinates. We type zero, zero, then it's gonna be at the bottom left. But the more you go to the right or up, it's gonna go and cap out at one. And that's for the bottom angle. And then the same goes for the top angle. It can go and cap out at one. So if you wanna get it in a precise location, you just gotta do it by coordinates again. So if we do, 0.250 and then keep it at 0.75 we got it exactly in the corner right here so we can actually multiply that too. right click duplicate go back into the effects and then we'll change this to 750 and then we can do that a couple more times which I'll do real quick I'll speed through it and then you see we do 250 250 then we have now we can do a four corner thing almost like a security camera footage of four different things going on you can use this for music videos or you can use this for a lot of stuff but it's all mathematical at this point and it's pretty simple math so right here the scale of one of these things is 0.5 so all we got to do if we want to move it we got to move it we just got to move it the length across however much you want and we'll get the exact number we need and the only reason I'm explaining this is because you can actually do this way more. You can put 16 or 32 on here. You just keep cutting this number in half and then you just adjust the coordinates accordingly. But you can also animate this as well by just clicking on these keyframes. So we click on the location animation. I'm just going to swap all the locations of them real fast. So we drag this out to almost 20 seconds. All we got to do is add a keyframe and then we'll start adjusting numbers. If I want this to go to 750 and 750. That's going to change the location of it in roughly 20 seconds so we can see that's what it's going to be so i'm going to do that quickly with everything else and speed through that just to show you an example of what you can do and i'm going to mute this bottom clip here so once you've done everything correctly if we play we're going to see all of our stuff flipping around and you'll notice it's kind of laggy and that's going to happen when you have a lot of high quality footage dragged onto each other so an easy way to counter this is you can proxy your footage. I'll go into some explanation in a different video about proxies, but it basically pre-renders your video. So it has really good performance on lower end PCs or if you're using a bunch of high quality footage. So I'm only using this one clip duplicated four times. We could even delete this. We don't need it. So if we right click on this footage and then we go create a video proxy and normally it would make the video run a little bit smoother but I'm using a .ts video file which is a little different and a little harder to decode fluently so if you use it in mp4 or WMV or something along those lines when you right click and then create video proxy your video is going to run much smoother than it normally does but again that was just a brief overview of picture in picture and with picture in picture itself on top of something, you can motion track, which I'll link that video in the description below. But the motion tracking script in Vegas 16 goes hand in hand with picture in picture. Definitely learn that because it's an awesome technique to have under your belt. 
If that helped you out, be sure to drop a like on this video if you want. I have plenty more tutorials to go from along with some Let's Plays and I do some streaming every once in a while. So feel free to subscribe if you want as well. But that's going to wrap it up for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.